Tonight's episode of Paradise Rolls. <laughs> I'm your host, Shars, and we're gonna. We're doing ASMR tonight. Doing ASMR DD tonight. I'm gonna here to take you into the wee hours of the morning. Just kidding. Um, I'm super into I, that. Can we do that sometime? Yeah. <laughs> I would be happy to provide some ASMR. I have no idea what this sounds like. I really am sorry. I really don't on know. The, on the, on the <laughs> internets. Um, okay, my name is Shars. I'm the game master for tonight's episode and our Tuesday campaign. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now shut it. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm the game master for the Chronicles of Safra, which is my homebrew um, <laughs> campaign that I love dearly. I love the characters less dearly, as a general rule, as a GM. Keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the GMs are always gonna. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a literal thing. GMs are always going to prioritize their world over the player characters. That's just a thing. Anyway, so I'm going to give you some uh, heads up for tonight's episode. I did a really funny thing. You ready for this? Uh, I decided it would be a good idea to try to step over my little spider web of cords to my left while wearing flip-flops. Little did I know, flip-flops catch cords. <laughs> Yes, they I do. I brought the house down, and by the house I mean our soundboard, and that broke one of our microphones. So, we're down some microphones. We've got some coming in the mail soon. So, bear with us while we pass this mic around to talk. So, uh, introductions. Once again, I am Shars. My pronouns are he, him, and I am the GM. I'm Zavi. <laughs> And my pronouns are they, them, and I play Crow, whose voice is not this soothing, and their pronouns are they and he. Hello. My name is Estes. I am uh, he, his, um, him. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I messed that up. Um, and I play Chadwick Walker, who sounds like he's high all the time. He's, ah, man. Yeah, you know why. <laughs> Hi, I'm, <laughs> I'm Natalie, pronouns she, her. I play Elwyn, also pronouns she, her. Hi, I'm Natalia. I play Astra, uh, pronouns she, they. I love how in this, the, uh, the frame for you two, there's just like a massive microphone right there. It makes it look like it's huge. <laughs> It almost blends into Natalia's, you know, outfit. It is not. Oh, I just saw it. Like, I didn't even see it on the frame. I just saw it right now. I was like, where is it? But also, the names are mixed up. Son of a monkey's ass. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I was about to say that. I was like, ooh, look at Chadwick the Astra. <laughs> Chadwick is fancy tonight. Arterian, do your, do your intro. Hi. I am Mark Anthony. I am playing Arterian. Both of us are he, him. Lenora, you're next. Hello. I'm Tatiana, pronouns she, her, ella, and I play Lenora Quill, half elf, wizard. Could you even hear that? No. That's the point. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> good. Just kidding. <laughs> um, Lenora Quill. <laughs> Everyone just thinks of uh, Lenora as the quiet type. Just no one can hear her. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what the quiet type is? <laughs> like that one girl on Pitch Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. She's the best. It just has not worked because I'm, I'm like always far away from a mic, and in order for it to work, I have to be real close. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, we're working on getting some lapel mics, so hopefully that'll help. Um, you know how you can help us with that? Our tip jar. That's right. Kara, you're up. We, we don't, just like the employers around the country say, we don't want to work anymore. 
Tiflis. Also, before, like, okay, Kara, you do your intro first, and then I will do a little. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hello, I'm Kara. Uh, I play Flowers, the Tabaxi Grave Cleric. <laughs> Couldn't remember. Um, and pronouns he, they, and I'm just going to say go with that for both for now. It can change, and that's fine. Word. That's right. We are okay with anyone changing pronouns ever. Okay, so in addition to our tip jar, we also now have a Patreon. <gasps> what? what? We have a Patreon. Whoa. We have a Patreon. <laughs> News to all of us. I activated it yesterday. Thank you. We um, are still Ew. we're still building it. So the only tier we have is Adventure Benefactor. It is a five dollar subscription. I don't know how often you pay that. Probably <laughs> monthly. Um, and monthly. it is just <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> You pay us every five minutes, and we give you more ASMR GM. No, um, but what uh, what it is is it's like general adventure benefactoring. So um, the bonus to that is that you're contributing to our show in a very generalized way, which is like a thing apparently on Patreon. Like they they like literally have a thing that's like general. Yeah. Yes, that's what we need for now. We support so, you. Yes, as human so beings. we are working on building up our different subscription levels with different content. Let's talk about a doodle tier. And we're gonna talk about doodle tier. Not with you. We are gonna talk about a doodle tier. Not with you. <laughs> so, uh, that's a thing that can contribute to this. We are also now on Spotify. <gasps> <gasps> that I knew. Too, that. Yeah, <laughs> so if you, yeah, because I put it in our group chat. <laughs> 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 so if you, I didn't put the Patreon because I don't want you all to like go and like buy into patreon or whatever like become a patron because i'm not talking to you on the show i'm talking to my players <laughs> i want you to no we definitely oh want this you so the viewers <laughs> viewers we want you to um so do your uh, best on your test yeah the uh the we have our brand new trailer up on youtube and uh spotify mm -hmm. And we're going to be working on getting past episodes of Proving Grounds on Spotify. Um, that's going to take a little bit of editing time on my part, so we're working on that. Let me know how it goes. Excellent. Oh, I have lots of ideas, too. Yeah, we've got lots of really cool, fun, like, exciting stuff coming for you all, so stay tuned. Um, but the coolest, most fun thing that we have coming up right now is... I'm not going to reveal a new thing. We're actually going to start playing the game now. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? We're here because our adventurers decided that they were going to split the party. Split the party three ways. It is a non-menage a trois. Um, <laughs> the, the opposite. Menage sans trois. <laughs> yes. I speak French. That sounds right. <laughs> So this Charles um, looks like he's like we're watching like a stand-up comedian because you have like the mic in front of you and because of the background. <laughs> watching stand up. Lock track. <laughs> um, so uh yeah, so our um our adventurers decided to go and confront the magistrate. The magistrate was like, what the fuck? This music's fucking weird. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> So they, they decided to con confront the magistrate and be like, what the fuck is happening? And then um, our, our dear friend, the very uh, very pompous man na known as Pentatitis, also known as Hepatitis, Hepatitis, who may or may not have Hepatitis, he decided, or he was uh, he was sussed out by our very own Elwin, who was reading his thoughts. And he was like, oh shit. So then he went invisible, and then he jumped out of a window, and then he had this like jetpack thing that was not a jetpack, it was actually wings, and he flew away, but then landed like half a mile, a mile and a half out. And so our party was like, oh my gosh, after him. So um, Chadwick summoned his steed, which was a bloodhound. Bloodhound. But they're, they're like floppy, right? Mm -hmm. the they got the very floppy ears. Like very me. slobbery. Oh, yeah. like it was um, a mastiff. Oh, it was a mastiff. Yeah. Oh. Also yeah. very slobbery also, and floppy. We, yeah. It was a mastiff. Oh, because maybe I maybe not. 
Yeah. Definitely massive. It was a zombie mastiff. Drove masti- zombie drew a mastiff, and so that's what it is. It's a mastiff. Yep. It's because I looked it up a mastiff as we were in the session, so that's how I know. And also a mastiff is big enough for a crow to ride. So um, Crow <laughs> hopped on the back of this mastiff, and um, Crow, Arterian, and Chadwick zoomed toward the, the forest, um, broke through the wall, and uh, delved into the forest to try to find Pentatitis. Uh, meanwhile, the other... Pentatitis while not catching hepatitis, but uh, testing potentially positive or negative for it. We don't know. Um, because our medicine person rolled a nat one on their medicine check. Sarah! Sarah! Sarah. Sarah. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah. Sarah rolled a nat one on her, uh, on her medicine check. Um, meanwhile, our the rest of our party went and uh, went up to... Let's call him hepatitis. Hepatitis's <laughs> office. And I really don't like that I can't see you so well. So I'm going to keep it still like this. Um, uh, to uh, Pentatitis' office. And he uh, he was not there, clearly. And so our party went and they got like absolutely wrecked. Like fully wrecked by a trap that, um, to Crow's credit, was really hard to detect. Like really hard. Um, so being like hurt and bruised, they went in, they started looking for some stuff. Elvin got real mad. Elvin had big mad energy and uh, went and made a fuss in the main chamber, but really there were only a couple of maids with the glass. Um, Ellen went to, uh, like herself, went to um, the head magistrate's office, um, punched a guard, or attempted to punch a guard. Uh, he, like, backhanded her with uh, with his halberd, and that ended up just taking her out. Cause, yeah, it rolled like a six. Yeah, because she was real real messed up from, from the... Uh, you know, from the cone of cold that, that blew in her face. That's right. At the yeah. doorway to Pentatitis's office. Our party was told to check out Pentatitis's house, not his office. Um, so he does have a house as well. I'm reminding you all in case, because we've established that we are all super fantastic note takers in all of yes. the <laughs> campaigns. Especially Lenora, <laughs> the best. Yeah, everyone knows. Tatiana's notes were the best. <laughs> Everyone knows the wizard is supposed to be the note taker. <laughs> yeah. It's true I can vouch for this because I always play a wizard. Magic question mark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, those notes make me so happy. <laughs> I like just gave up on taking notes because <laughs> clearly there's absolutely nothing I can do with them afterwards <laughs> aside from reading them out loud like what the hell it's Magic. like waking up after a dream and writing something <laughs> down and then making no sense I know exactly. this idea was dream journaling anyway because it's <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of journaling we have merch where you can buy journals yes. and do your own terrible note taking. I can't wait to buy a mug. I know. Drink coffee so out. our journals, once we finalize, there are a couple of partners of Paradise Rolls who have yet to vote on doodles. Uh, I only sent a team. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna have cool a cool book drawing dicks journal. It's great. Uh, Lenora was drawing dicks at one point. Adult coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good idea. The <laughs> most adult, adult coloring book. <laughs> there will we cannot guarantee that there will be penine inside, but there will be some. Okay, so there'll be butts uh, for sure. Let's see. We're gonna uh, Elwin, we're gonna start with you. Cool. I'm unconscious. Okay. So. Also, I forgot my iPad. That's okay. I don't even know where my bag of dice is. It's like somewhere in this house. <laughs> You'll find it in three years when you finally unpack I don't everything. Know where I put that? Well, that was the backpack I used last week, and I don't know where the heck I put it. Well, next time right, you're here, you can always use life. the cough syrup dice. Yes. Oh, or yes. my shitty dice. You're always welcome to all of our shitty dice. We should, okay, so we should pool. We, we need like an exorcism or something. Let's do the salt test on all of our dice ever, and then all the ones that fail, we'll put it into like a fish jar. And whoever forgets dice has to use it. Yeah. Or, yeah, fail the salt test. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said they were bad. <laughs> I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna look that up. Okay. Um, Elwin. 
I'm unconscious. You and for some reason on here I have 59 hit points, which I definitely don't. definitely do not. You actually have one hit point. Okay. As you come to, your eyes open. You can feel the hard stone floor, stone floor, floor below floor. you. The hard stone floor below you. Um, you have a lump on your head. It is throbbing, throbbing lump on your head. Uh, it's not cancer. And you, <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, so, so you you can feel a warm compress being pressed to your head, and um, a very reassuring hand grasping your left hand. Uh, you open your eyes, and two faces loom above you. The face on the right looks very inquisitive. Uh, it is a, a tiefling woman's face with lavender skin, jet black hair. Um, and then to the left, you see the face of an elven woman with deep, dark skin, very pointed ears with a little bit of gold. Oh my god, it's my dream shadow. come true! <laughs> what is happening? Kira and Kaliria are both looking over you with Voice. concern. <laughs> and you can hear Kira's voice say, are you... Oh, she's coming around. Are, are you okay? Elwyn, wake up. Wake up, Elwyn. Oh, oh. Hi, did I die? <laughs> Am I in heaven? <laughs> um, oh. Hey! Um, yeah! But there's this thing, and I'm gonna try and find... I think I'm still holding on to the, the deed mm -hmm. that I have. So, like, I'm just gonna be like, Deed! <laughs> Explain. <laughs> um, a new concussion has entered the chat. <laughs> a new what? Concussion. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I know we're all looking at the chat. <laughs> I, no, yes, so I another always, concussion. I always miss the, uh, the notifications of a new chatter. Say, Yay, new chatter. Okay. Um, yeah, so Caleria takes the... There's takes the, the deed from your hand and, um, and and Kira this is all very confusing, I really hope you get this, this you know, these uh, names uh, straight, so um, Kira continues to press the warm compress on your head the hand, comforting hand leaves your hand that was um, Kaliria, she takes the, the deed and kind of steps back a little bit, um, and as you look over you can see that she's, uh, Kaliria's very large elegant dress is just kind of like draped around her big like circle on the floor um whereas kira's in her you know armor and just kind of like sitting there so Kaliria begins to review the, the document and you can see that you're sitting in in an office uh, the door up ahead is closed there are some bookcases with some uh some like interesting trinkets that are hanging on the bookcases or, or uh, stashed on the bookcases um and uh Clearia says, you know, you, you really shouldn't shouldn't swipe at the guards. I I should have told you that before. That's that's a thing. Well, I I didn't really mean to. I was just trying to like come in and then they wouldn't let me and I was trying to like bang on the door because I was mad. Yeah, we should have we should have told them that, that you were fine, that you could come in. I it mean was... like we've been here a million times. You know, these guards are always on rotation. Um, is the guard in the room? You don't see the guard. It's going to glare at me, so I don't have to pay the level. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Sorry. I I'm just, sorry. We're very, um, you know, concerned about the situation, and I just find it hard to believe that I'm going to try and, like, I think she's probably going to be kind of stumbly over her words as we're at one hit point and a semi-concussion. <laughs> um, like, she's going to express that, like, she's mad. I'm like, just, <laughs> mad, deed. No, you shouldn't know. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> Kira says, yes, I can, I can tell that you have this big mad energy happening. Um, we... <laughs> are also experiencing the big mad energy. We just know how to control it. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit better than you. Fair. So, <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair assessment. And then Kaliria leans forward, rolls up the deed, and she says, this is 
really concerned. Do you do you you understand what this means, right? Like this deed, you you get you get what that means. Yeah. Yeah. It's a serious situation. It it is. It's why I'm big mad. Yes. It big is mad a, energy. A, a gross misuse of power. <laughs> yes. For the enemy. How how he's been doing this under your nose. Apparently he. <laughs> This is not... I'm a shifty-eyed Kira. <laughs> Kira, like... Shifty eyes to Cleria. Cleria shifty eyes back to Kira. <laughs> I love a shifty eye scene. <laughs> it's, it's like a Spider-Man meme. Yeah. <laughs> To, we have to stop the construction of this church. Like this church, I mean. Like immediately. I mean, I. I we have half of our half of our people went down there, and I don't know what happened to them, but yeah, they're, yeah. But I, like, how Pentatitis has been at this for years. I mean, apparently, but the problem is, this is a. I mean, it's going to take us time to litigate this document. Like, it has signatures, and even though it has signatures. These are very clearly false signatures. Like, I did not sign this. We don't have time for litigation. We don't have I have choice. a headache, and it's not just from the concussion. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you home with some stuff, like, for that. That's, That's right. I think Chad has something. It'll be fine. <laughs> but <laughs> Chad has some tea. It'll be great. Well, I just, I think, you know, you, it can't be just Pentatitis that was doing this. I mean, this is... He needed help to forge these signatures. Like, this has been going on under your nose for years. There's got to be something that you know. I, I don't know anything. I truly don't. He's been working in secret this whole time, apparently. He's been presenting us with the normal, the normal, you know, real estate deals and the trade agreements with I'm gonna, Gloria. I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to try to take the deed back. Okay, she'll allow it. Swipe the deed back. Like, unacceptable. I'm just gonna like. I don't trust you with this deed, so I'm gonna keep it. That's fair. I I trust you with that deed. Please check out his house. Do you have anything that could help us, Kira, or Caleria? One of you very in attractive people <laughs> <laughs> in this room. <laughs> Because that, the spell in his office, the office, nearly killed two of us. So we are going to need something helpful for the house. Valeria stands and says, I am very invested in the trusting relationship that we've begun to build. So I'm going to entrust you with something. that it will help for you. It is something that has been passed down in my family for, for generations. And I've really not... I, I've used it a lot, and it's it's really saved me a lot, but I I, I want you to have it. And she, like, turns and, and opens a, you know, like a... She takes a book off of her shelf and kind of, like, hides it, opens it, you know, and you hear, like, keys jingling and stuff like that. She puts the book back. And she holds out her hands like this. And just open your hands. And she's gonna drop a, a very, uh, it's, it's a very delicate golden chain. There's a locket on it that is gold plated on the back. And it has a single moonstone in the center. And carved in the gold is a symbol. And she tells you, this is an amulet of counterspell. You can use it up to three times per day. Don't use all of its charges. Don't use it three times in one day. I mean, you, you can use it up to three times in one day. You can use it three times per day. Do not use it a fourth time. And I'm just gonna like forget everything that we've been talking about and be like, what happens if I do? 
it'll get destroyed. You will never be able to. It'll turn to ash. So, three times max. Three times in a day. Five times. Very <laughs> <laughs> good. But you can use wow. it to okay. counteract the effects of a spell that's targeted at you. Even if I don't know the spell's coming? Even if you, well, I mean, you have to. to work on the litigation part of this team. Um, I, I would love for you and your party to go to Antitypus's house I think and see what else he might be hiding there. I think some of us are already in pursuit of him, but the rest of us are going to... Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Sorry for getting mad. Sorry for the big mad energy. The big, big mad energy all around. All around. Okay, let's jump to Astra and Lenora and Cloud. <coughs> you are up in the, in the office. Um, Astra, you were high, right? And you drank this potion. <laughs> yes. Yeah, gasoline. Flower, you smelled the potion. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you like yelling, and I was like, I cannot hear what you're yelling. Um, <laughs> you smelled it. Did you already roll your Constitution saving throw? I did. Yeah, they did, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember what you got. I, it's in poor. Oh, yes, I remember. I remember. Um. Flowers, you can feel every ligament in your body, every muscle, every joint, every bone begin to stiffen. Lenora and Astra, before your very eyes, Flower becomes a statue doing this. I hate this. Smelling. <laughs> Smelling the liquid. <laughs> Is it an ice statue? <laughs> like, what type of statue <laughs> is it? Um, flowers does not appear to be a statue made of anything but themselves. Yeah. So it's like a giant taxidermy. Like the one of the cats <laughs> oh, sitting on the chair. <laughs> Like a white cat monkey, that's like. It? It's like a weird <laughs> monkey. That's like. Oh yeah. <laughs> monkey shrew. Taxidermy animal yeah, memes are always funny. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, this one. This one. This one. That one. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> that's the one. I that one. Like. That one. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's not a monkey. It is like not a monkey. A monkey with a cat's face? Yeah. What is it? Let me see. I can't see. Or a cat with a arms? <laughs> I was thinking about the fox, for sure. Yeah. That's like a whole, all, all fucked up. Okay. <laughs> so that happened. <laughs> Sweet. So Lenora is with Astra, who's high. And the taxidermy cat. <laughs> That's it. It's just us three. Yeah. Is Astra still high? No. I You're don't not so think high. I know. And when I smell the thing, I didn't get anything. No. Was this the same liquid or whatever that got 
a little fucked up or am I confusing things? No, it's different. And I'm heading back to where they are. Okay. <laughs> so Can I do identify? Yes. Would you like to cast identify on flowers or the potion? Wait, no, oh, okay. Excellent. So you do your identify jig. You know, your constipation identify. Um, and in your mind, you can see. You, um, so you, you get that this potion is infused with, I don't say transfiguration magic. That's not what it's called. Uh, transmutation. Transmutation, man. Thank you. See, we're in this phase of like identifying our own RPG system, and so now I'm like thinking of alternative names for everything. <laughs> transmutation hint, hint. magic, and uh, you identify this as a potion of petrification. We don't speak about her. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn and tell Astra that the cat's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Astra, the cat's a rock. I can't, I can't do anything. <laughs> do I? I don't have anything. I'm like, do I have any? just like, woof, charge the bullet. Talks to me. Astro Perez. Freeze out the competition. That's right. But I'm just. Where is the sound alert? Where is it? Can I dispel magic? Is that gonna do anything? No. I summon a demon. I have to kill someone. Damn it. Too bad the best Discord mod leaked all the state secrets. Lenora, yes, you can attempt to dispel magic. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. Can I do something too? Yeah. Um. Uh. Some magatory. I'm gonna speak my voice loud. Okay. Cool. Can I ask for help if, if that were in um. Pen, 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 pentatitis. Pentatitis office, and someone is petrified. Okay. Frozen. Yeah. You get this big, booming voice that goes... Your voice booms, saying, We're in Pentatitis' office! Someone is petrified! Frozen, we need help. It's very impressive. Does um, my thing do anything? Uh, I need you to make a, um, roll a d20 and add your spell of an ability modifier. Where do I see my spell? Oh. So the mod the spell modifier you said? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use the stupid, whatever it's called, screen dice. Did I do it? Oh, there it is. 16. Okay. Yeah, so you describe how you cast Dispel Magic. That might work. Yeah. Lenora's just gonna like stand in front of taxidermy cat and go like that and just like, but not touch it and just like. <laughs> 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 All right. So your t 
taxidermied friend. <laughs> Don't drink that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get real close to flowers, like just like literally like just completely close and I'm just gonna say I think that was I think that was a bad potion thing. I'm pretty sure it was bad. I think it was bad. Don't do that again. You were a rock. <laughs> I didn't like it. come bursting into the room. Guys! <laughs> Guys! We have to go to the house. I'm still a little... I'm still at one hit point. So. <laughs> house, guys! What happened? What just happened? What did I miss? Flowers. What's wrong? Nothing I'm just, now. Like, looking at, I'm just <laughs> looking at Lenora, who's like so close to flowers. Like, I just turn and I'm just like... The cat was a rock. And I unrocked it. So. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Can I say that while, like, while you're right here, I like really slowly lean forward and then you like turn and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Cats like push their head into your hand or whatever. <laughs> I love it. So we we have to go to the house. I have a locket, so we can go to the house now. I'm just Are you really okay? I'm assuming that Ellen looks straight fucked, so I'm gonna, um, she got cleaved in the face or whatever, um, so I will heal her as soon as I find it. Okay. Thank you. Nobody and wants actually, to look at this I, face. I'm gonna heal, like, time. everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm at one hit point. I'm probably missing all of my teeth. We have one teeth. <laughs> It's my snaggle tooth. It's the snaggle tooth that's left. <laughs> so you know okay. that you can no longer turn into a saber tooth tiger. You are going to be turned into a snaggle tooth <laughs> Perfect. I fucking love that. Oh my god. All my creatures are going to have a snaggle tooth from now on. I can't wait. All right, flowers. What? How much? How much healing damage are you doing? <laughs> Uh, that was not enough. Wait, am I out of no? Hmm. Hold on here. <laughs> Let me see. Damage to the ailments. Oh, just kidding. I guess I heal like everybody for six. <laughs> listen, listen. That's better than one. Lenora, Astra, Elwyn, and I, maybe yourself, Flowers? Feel six? I'm fine. <laughs> One of my favorite things about D&D, &D, and this is going to sound sarcastic, but it's not sarcastic, is like listening to people add. Like, I love when they go like, okay. <laughs> 
It's like one of my favorite things on any D&D &D show that I watch. I don't know why. I just really like it. That's how you know it's real. I know. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Everyone has this problem. Thank you. Thank you, Flowers. I really enjoyed that. I can't pass maths. <laughs> okay. As you I'm four sure prepare us for it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I frequently add things wrong. Um, okay, so as our uh, as these four leave the magistrate and head toward the the park district to go investigate Pentatitus's house, Crow, Arterian, and Chad. Crow, you are on top of the mastiff who is just bounding forward, leaping over felled trees. Um, the, uh, make, please make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, shit. You, uh, yeah, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't it's matter. A, it's a lot. <laughs> there are branches flying at your face. I and you're shot them with my two daggers as I cut through. <laughs> um, and, uh, and Arteria and Chadwick, you are following behind. Um, sorry, can I get that? Yes. yes. <laughs> There's some slack on this side. Just like, oh, just kidding, you can't, sorry. Let's see. Uh, Jockey, baby. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, you, uh, you're, you're bounding through the forest. You've gone a little ways in. Following your master. What's going on with you? Um, honestly, what do I, so what do I see and smell in front of me? So as you are running through, uh, your mastiff is leaving a little bit of a trail for you to follow where, where it's sort of, it's, uh, it's quite, means. quite far ahead of me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's, it's running a little bit faster than you, um, and you're, so some of the brush, the underbrush is, is trampled over as your mastiff is running through. There are branches that are, like, coming at you as you, as you dodge through the forest. Um, you, you can smell the smells of dirt and evergreen as it's just rained, um, and, uh, and yeah, the, it's, it's, it's slightly darker here in this part of the forest. The trees are a little bit closer together. All right. <clears throat> Keep chasing him down. I got some questions for him. Be right behind you. At some point, I probably telepathically call Zandarius to me. I think he's back at our house. <laughs> Yep, a, uh, a giant demonic elephant just materializes out of nowhere, crushing multiple trees. Oh no, he has to run. Oh, he has to run. And <laughs> materialize? Oh, that's. No, I'm little not. Little I'm not summoning little. him. I'm just telling him get your ass over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> if he's within um, a mile. Yeah, is uh, if he's in a mile. You call out to Zendari. There's no response. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll have Zandarius at some point. Just out of range. Point at my it, horns. It, he's probably busy no catching signal. bees. No signal. He's probably like, bee, bee, bee. Oh, maybe. maybe. That was one time, but, um, yeah. Possible. We'll just have to make do with. Uh, yeah. What are we gonna do with hepatitis when we get to him? Uh, cure him. <laughs> That's a cute. <laughs> hepatitis has no cure. <laughs> Yet. Yes. But if you get tested, it is treatable. <laughs> Hepatitis. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I have a. I have. I know someone who got who was not 
not tested for hepatitis and ended up with a serious problem. So, mm. yeah. This is your weekly so, PSA about yes. getting tested for all communicable <laughs> sexually transmitted Maybe we should get a department infection. bill. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're we're chasing after his scent. The scent. The dog. Yeah. We're in the dog hot got pursuit. The scent. Yeah, the scent, but not. Um, but you haven't seen the person. Not yet, okay, but. Not the just you wait. Just you wait. They're on the scent. But. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, the Mastiff halts. I need you to make a strength saving throw. A strength? Yep, to see if you can hang on. Be strong. Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fail. Well, what was it? It's an eight. <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> okay, give me a dexterity saving throw now as you fling off the front of the... the oh, oh, my God. Oh. And that one. There you go. Your, Your face is dirty. <laughs> You fall directly into one of the folds in Pentatitis' stomach. <laughs> that means I'm safe, right, Christian? No, that means that you that means that you suffocate. <laughs> I'm gonna take four piercing damage as you fly right into a bramble of bushes. Oh, that's fine. A bushes of a, a bramble of, of blackberries. Not bushes. Blackberries. Okay, I eat the blackberries as I'm sitting here. It's like, not the season of <laughs> blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> that I just <laughs> lick a bunch of spikes, <laughs> shred my tongue. <laughs> On bread. Yeah. Roll a d4, please. <laughs> two. Take an extra two points of piercing damage. I mean, slashing damage. Tongue piercing damage. <laughs> I will give you a sick tongue piercing damage. <laughs> it's just one. One big thorn just still stuck in my tongue that I don't never take out. <laughs> Pretty badass. Um, meanwhile, uh, you, Chadwick, and Arturian both see. Um, oh, my mom is gone. Oh. Um, you both see the, the mastiff. George? What was it? It wasn't I think Steve. It was George. Or Ryan. I know. No, I think it was no. Jack. It's Greg. Greg. Yeah. I, I just... Greg. 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 Greg, yeah. Yeah, got it. <laughs> was that you, Kara? Because, yes, because you know yeah, all it was the things Greg. all the time. Yes, you have a very good name memory. It's, I'm very jealous of it. <laughs> My name is Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old Greg. <laughs> I'm old Greg. You see Greg slide to a halt, and Crow just... Right into some blackberries. <laughs> what are you doing in my waters? <laughs> <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> Why is this hook in your I head, fool? Bro, I'd like to roll a d6, please. What world are we in? <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Why don't we have that sound here? Can we please add emotional damage to our new emotional damage? <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> very good. That's very um, impressive, Mark. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, great. Hey, what is that? <laughs> oh, I figured out why there's an echo. Because of the stream was playing in in Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, all right, Crow. Uh, this 
it's not time to rest. Emotional. <laughs> 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 Sorry if that oh, I was think loud. Scared the, scared the baby. Oh, oh no. okay, the baby's gone. <laughs> oh no, he's still there. <laughs> we are sorry, headphone users. <laughs> okay, so uh, Mark the the, uh, the mastiff begins sniffing at the base of a tree and then gets up on it and starts scratching at it. Um. Uh, not there. Yeah, you can climb the tree. Like daggers. Yeah. Climb the tree, athletics check. Athletics? Yep. Can I bless everyone around? You can absolutely bless everyone around. That's what I would How like How are to you going to bless everyone around? Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, does she have a car? Um, I would <clears throat> like to say, this is our chance to redeem ourselves from being made of fools. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot let this guy go. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm gonna look around and see if I did anything. <laughs> is plus two again? I don't, I don't know if it worked. Make me a, uh, give me a religion check. No, no, give me a wisdom check. Just straight wisdom. That would be a uh, six. <laughs> Charisma? Oh, sure. Why not? That would be a nine. That really should have been Charisma. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, roll a d4. Two. You get less. Five. It's Five. a d4 for like whenever you... Oh. What? It's a d4 whenever you make a attack roll or saving throw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, well, Arterian, you don't get then it. Then I got a three. Oh, on your... On my athletics. I think it should be acrobatics. I think it's athletics, because you're like... Oh, 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 oh. Then it's a three. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the jump. Stick... Okay. So Bunch? as you stick your daggers in, you literally, your hands just give out. And you have two daggers stuck up there at like eight and ten feet. Um, Noodle arms. <laughs> <laughs> throw me, throw me up in the tree. Gotta pull me. As you fall down, the Arterian is like pew. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your jumping, Arterian, because you have special jumping jumps. Yes, yeah. it's a uh, <laughs> nice, nice twenty-one foot. Excellent. You got the up ups. Um. I've done that before. I would like a perception check from you, please. Okay. I'm gonna bring these dice out. Ooh, bulk dice? Or the no. Dice? New dice. The resin, resin dice. dice. Ooh. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a one? It's a one. It's a one. Shit. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Does anyone want them? <laughs> okay, no, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. So, Arteria, you. <laughs> you, you squat down, right? And your thunderous thighs propel you up. And as you are going up, you pass a branch and you can see the face of Pentatitis, his eyes wide. <laughs> you see him as you're going up, going up, and then you keep going up, <laughs> going up, and then you make impact. Something hard hits your head. Really Second fucking hard. Second concussion for the day. As you hit a branch <laughs> up ahead. I need a concussion sticker on this. <laughs> Just stuck in it with my horns. <laughs> They come up. Don't you even look? Do you even look at the doodles? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Your horns stick into it. Uh, you're going to take uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage. 
as you slam into this very mighty, mighty um, branch, 20 feet up in the air. Since my head is kind of stuck, I just, with just the eyes, look down at him. <laughs> You're fucked. Like the, I'm like just the gonna start <laughs> gonna push myself out. Oh, intimidation roll. Yeah. Oh my god, please draw that. <laughs> intimidation. Make an intimidation check as we discuss how this is the monkey from Family Guy going. <laughs> Switching to different dice. <laughs> okay. Um, that's an 18. 18. Okay. Um, Oh my god. It yeah. is like Wiley Coyote except like angry. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. Let me let me make a, a Okay. I'm gonna roll I want each of you to roll a D4, please. We're just doing lots of rolling today to have determine things. Me and Clue. Yeah. It's gonna be a four. Two. Oh! It's a four. All right. Um, <laughs> you, both, you both notice like a dribble of liquid coming between you. Ew! <laughs> I scoot away. What color is the liquid? Dark yellow. <laughs> He's not hydrated. <laughs> Exactly. I'm not gonna lick it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, are there any like low hanging branches? Very low hanging fruit. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. I would like to cast. Can I see Pentatitis? Make a perception check. Um, actually, make an investigation check because you're looking for him. Often, Pentatitis goes unknown without symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just I think I just saw a symptom. <laughs> Dehydrated? Yeah, wouldn't that be with advantage since we literally see pee coming out of this tree? Okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> advantage. Oh, that's not great um, either. Pro, you were looking for a low hanging branch. Yeah, I wanna oh, I nice. wanna do like fancy backflips back off of this branch Excellent. and into the tree. Yes, it'll be an eleven. Branch at six feet. There's an, another branch at like. Eight and nine, um, so you can go. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, twenty-seven, and I grab my dagger on the way up. Oh, Excellent. I actually don't need to see him. I'm just gonna cast calm motions. <laughs> okay. Uh, centered on the tree. Oh, okay. Twenty-foot radius. All right. Excellent. So, so include that includes you. Charisma and saving throw. Arterian and Crow need to make a charisma saving throw, please. It's an eighteen on uh, the dice. Oh, you guys get bonus plus. I am not calm. But not plus four. You're not calm? Oh, I am not. He's not calming me down. Oh. What are you, do, what are you doing? Are you, are you yelling? Well, I mean, <laughs> you get a plus four to it. Do I get that? Do I get to add it if it's a nat one, though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, one it does still doesn't save. An auto fail? I mean, on, um, on tax. tax. However, four it's great plus, flavor. Plus, so wait, so I get plus how much? Four for me, so and I, then whatever yours. So that's eight. Did you get? Did you add your your last D four? Oh yeah, you can. Oh. That's still not gonna be enough. Four. Oh, yeah, I don't that's, think that's enough. That's thirteen. That's pretty that's good th for you know getting a one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a Christmas save. Like, <laughs> um, Arturian, you got eighteen. On the On dice. Five. Okay. That's you got like a twenty-seven. <laughs> 27, shut the hell up. Yeah, my Christmas saving throws have a plus 9. Okay. That's cool. Um, your spell safety is 15? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. If they I'd say like they don't have calm emotions. Hmm? Tell me what happens when somebody successfully passes that. Um, successfully passes? There's no change. Okay, cool. What happens Alternatively, um, my intention was to make uh, my target indifferent about creatures of my choice that is hostile towards. Okay. So that would have been my
my target, Pentatitis, hostile toward uh, the group. Okay. So does it not affect me then? Because you don't want it to? It, yeah, there's nothing really okay. that happens to you. Perfect. But you, it still affects everyone. But since you're not hostile towards us, it really doesn't. Well, okay, yeah, I guess if you did feel hostile toward any of us, it would calm that. Are you currently feeling hostile toward anyone? No, just right. that's time. That's it. Yep. Cool. I'd like to dislodge myself and. <laughs> Archeria, make a, a strength check, please. Oh, that's good. 15 on the dice. Uh, 19 total. Okay. Uh, you get yourself loose. You're now free falling. 20 feet. No, I'm holding the branch. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, you didn't Dis say that before. You just said... Dislodging my loose. horns. Alright, cool. He's always falling. He's always falling. <laughs> so you're holding onto the branch. What happens next? Um... I'm gonna... No, I, I don't think that he cares. He may have just fallen out of a window, but I'm not... I'm not gonna climb down the trunk, okay? <laughs> I'm jumping down <laughs> right next to this fucker. I'm already down there, so I'm I'm up there, right? Yeah, With yeah. So, so, okay, here's what I need to have have happen. Arterian, I need you to make an acrobatics check to basically swing yourself down to that branch. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it's a ten. Okay. Down the middle. So you fling yourself over and you are falling. Um, with a 10, you land on the branch just below Pentatitis uh, on your stomach. Okay. You, however, have flipped, 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 and you are now on the branch across from Pentatitis. Across? Across. Like, like there's a, a tree trunk here, and there's a branch that goes like that, and it's here, there's a branch that goes like that, and you're here. Mm -hmm. And Arturian is like... Oh. <clears throat> okay, I want to jump over and put my knife against the ground. Okay. I always do non-violent damage. As I, as I land on the branch, I'm just like, oh, This isn't good <laughs> for you, buddy! <laughs> 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 All right. Always um, um, what do you think? Shall we take a break before we jump back over to you two? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a, a, a four minute break. So 7.30, we'll be back. Pussy, how's that baby? <laughs> Well, uh, Brian has him, and he's currently screaming his face off. So I think he's like, he's due for a bottle and start getting ready for bed. Well, Brian can do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Also, a four-minute break. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to break. Okay. Uh, stream starting soon. Ready, set, go. Hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to your evening of Paradise Rolls. I'm your GM, Shars. I always think that my voice is a little bit more deep and sultry than it actually is, and then I listen to it, and I feel like it's like, Hi, I'm Charles! It's really terrible. Um, it's terrible what self-perception of your voice does. <laughs> I think your voice is very soothing. Thank you. I sound like a teenage boy going through puberty. <laughs> I was gonna call it out today, Kara. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the difference. You can. Um, yeah, so we are waiting on people uh, who did not come back by the uh, by the aforementioned mm -hmm. time. So, uh, we are actually just gonna move on with Astra, Lenora, and the Flowers because most of y'all are there. So, you did the thing. Did, did, are we going to this house? Yeah, if you want to go to the house, yeah. Whose house? Sounds yeah, like I Elwyn know. was very insistent about it. Oh yeah, because they said they're doing the last day. They, they, they long gone. I mean, you do have the option to like pursue them. Or go to the house. Uh, or do whatever you want. Like, you literally could just be like, 
Fuck all of you. I'm gonna go like blacksmith some shit. And I'll be like, all right, let's do it. Come on. I suggest we have a spa day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say that again. I suggest we have a spa day. Excellent. Great. I'll all bathe right. in the blood of my enemies. That's really good about exfoliating and opening up the pores. But we can go to the house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Elwyn leads you to the uh um to the oh, hmm? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, we were Zap, Zap. Who's <laughs> missing? Everybody. <laughs> um, just those two. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked. <laughs> um, nothing. <laughs> On a like neither here nor there side note, my dog is trying very, very hard to convince me that I, I have not given him dinner. <laughs> he has definitely had dinner. <laughs> Oh, she's here to come. Just, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, good a spa progress. day then. No, you're going to the house. No, yeah, we're going okay, to the house. Okay, so you, um, you start your way, head your way back to, or out of the magistrate's office. You pass the guard. The guard's like, mm-hmm. and then um, you make your way toward the, uh, the park district. Um, I want a perception check from each of you, please. Each of you going to the house. Perception check? Perception check, please. Perception. Perception, not perception. I have 16. A six? Okay, thank you. 11. 11, great. 16. 16, excellent. We'll let Elwood get situated for I'm sorry. Me. It's fine. You're fine. What's happening? No, no, you're good. You're walking to the park district. You're just going to give a perception check. Okay. So perception we're all back to, we're all back together? The four of you are, yeah. The oh, party, that's right. That's the party's right. only split in two office. now. I got so excited about what was happening right, let's, with everybody else. Let's, let's do this oh, thing again and yeah. get this. Oh, everyone's like seeing my kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's not that kind of show. It's fine. Yeah, I, um, I already suggested I oh, could show my so boobs to I, the audience to so increase it. The I heard they do that on Twitch, that that's all girl it. gamers do is take their shirts off on see. Twitch. So I'm, I'm to have a willing to make that sacrifice there's, if we need to. There's one that um, constantly posts online about her mommy milkers. Um, nice. So, you know. Whatever brings in money. Like, about that band called Mommy Milkers? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, hashtag Farmington. Go check them out. Hello. Shout out to Mommy Milkers. Yeah. Yeah. Farmington. Maybe make some music for us. Sponsor us. No. Does anyone know who Mommy Milkers from Farmington? Because let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, perception yes. check. Yes. For your right yourself. <laughs> Plus seven, 18. 18. Right. Owen. Yes. Ooh, that was yeah. me. That was, that was me. It was me in dog form. No. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Never apologize. Never. Um, so as you're walking through the main, the main square, the Isle of the Magistrate, to cross the bridge into the park district, you do notice a strange sight. A minotaur man is posting a big flyer on one of the many poster boards like they have on campus, you know, sure. back in the day when you used to do that. Yeah. Um, posting a big, like, do hammering. Do they really? Yeah, That's they cool. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's hammering this flyer in onto, onto the poster board. Big flyer. Um, you can see from this distance that the flyer says 10,000 gold prize. My eyes and immediately go to that part before I take in the rest, which is... Well, you can't see it from this distance as you're all, you all are like booking it toward the park. Okay, I'm gonna hang a, hang hang a hard left. wherever direction. Hang a hard <laughs> sure. Okay. 
So as you walk over there, flowers, you see um, a man crossing the bridge into the park district. He is wearing long floor length red robes that are um, adorned or accented with gold, like uh, fanciness. He has a brimmed conical hat that is also red, adorned with gold around it. He has this bright red, or not bright, but dark red hair um, that you can see from behind. And he's like holding a bunch of scrolls um, as he is like walking over the bridge into the park district. Um, let's start with Elwyn. You go over to the to the poster. The sign, uh huh. Cool. So as the Minotaur gets the last nail in, he turns to the right as you show up on his left. Um, are you gonna say anything to him? Okay, cool. Um, so do I, would I'll you would it. you like me? No, okay. No, it's all. It's all do you have weird. something planned? <laughs> never. Literally never. Is he cute? <laughs> yeah, that would be Elwin's first question. <laughs> Here's long, um, Mark Anthony, we were looking at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he, like, like brought it down in his face, yeah, you gotta, like. I will fall for you. No! No! Oh my god, I'm transported back to 2006. It looks like you're in, um, Hawthorne Heights. <laughs> Okay, but who knows the artist of that song? Are you all true emo lovers? No. Nope. I too know old. it. Who is it? You gotta know it. My assumption is like Dashboard from Confessional, but... No, it's not Dashboard. It's very close. No. Mm -mm. Take me back. Second on Serenade. Mm. Nobody gets inspiration tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so the, 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 the poster, the poster, we need that fucking hourglass. The poster says um, that there is a, a battle competition at the Hall of Battles, and that the winner of this competition will win 10,000 gold. Okay. I'm gonna file that away in my brain. All right. Uh, I'm gonna actually just take it with me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna. No one, have, no one else can join. Okay. So you put that in your pocket. Please add to your inventory whenever you get a chance. Mm -hmm. um, Hall of Battles competition poster. Okay. And I'll give you the actual poster. Sweet. In two weeks. Does that mean that whenever we are in this competition that we would advantage because less people entered because they can't? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Hall of Champions. Hall of Battles. Hall of Battles. Nobody's a champion. It's Elwin. Yes. Elwin's not over here, so just to Astra and Lenora, I'm just gonna be like, they stand out. <laughs> Point out this human and or so creature. So Astra and, thing. and Lenora, um, flowers pointing out the the Elven man in the red robes. 
Mm. Can I go right up to him? Okay. It's like behind him or like in front of him or like. I'm gonna like walk towards him and then just like face him. <laughs> Are you okay, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's gonna, he's gonna turn and look at you and say, Oh, Lenora, it's so great to see you. How, how are you doing? Have you, uh, have you experimented with any of those scrolls yet? I said he said squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Who was this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Check I have your no notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, God damn it. He has he many, many scrolls. scrolls. Did, did you get a scroll from a scroll man? <laughs> the door has a lot of shit. So, I'll give you a hint. He'll be like, has uh, has that map that I enchanted for you, has that, has that helped oh, you at all? Nathan. It Nathan. is Ethan. 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 The masseuse down the hall cut us off. <laughs> <laughs> We're back, though. I warned you. We're back. 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 We're I would assume that I followed. I don't know if Astra did. Didn't you ask for a bunch of scrolls? Or did we I did? No, he gave it to, to her when we went to go pick up the scroll. And she was supposed to read it. <laughs> I think she had a baby instead. <laughs> no, it was definitely after that. Was it? Yeah, this was more recent. Oh, right. I remember going. Sorry, I tried to use the baby. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> <is. laughs> but you all saw my notes. And that's how my brain books. works. Yeah, it's true. So I don't remember. Did you also have a book or something you're supposed to read? I think yes, we all had a book. Did. Did. You're right. <laughs> I think we need a new note-taker. I was like, yeah. why is Natalia taking notes? Jeez. Uh, okay, but like, can, can we remember the names? There? Natalia, you were taking fire notes. I was. And then, I don't remember if it was this campaign or last campaign, but I remember your like little handy dandy notebook, like from Blue Spoons that had the spiral <laughs> on the top. And like, you were just going <laughs> and at it with your note-taking. It was, it was And amazing. then I saw Tati's book, and then I got discouraged. <laughs> <laughs> There's no like, problem. Like, 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 there's no quality in it. It's just really pretty, but you saw my note. <laughs> it's all fancy, like a D&D book of sexual spit. There's just like pictures of dicks everywhere. That's it. Jack would be the note taker. He would just be like, wait. <laughs> and everyone was like, being all weird and stuff. It's all notes of strange and strange. Dude, it'll be, like, it'll be notes based off of general feelings. I was <laughs> <laughs> not there. The vibe, yeah. I was not feeling those. God. <laughs> like four sets of quotation marks. <laughs> and then like a two-page rant about how religion doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, religion is bullshit. And then like two pages later, oh, everyone left. We're all like this other <laughs> Alright. Two days later, I woke up. <laughs> um, okay, so, yes. Nathan is standing there staring at Lenora. And this kitty, kitty, kitty comes up. Oh, and he's gonna say, Hey, kitty girl. What's up? I, I, I know I'm just staring. I mean, <laughs> is that. Is, are they with you? Like, is this. No, this is not. You're just. A, are you just a random. Random tabaxi? Never mind. Oh. Um, sorry, I've made this very awkward, haven't I? Um, 
Do you want some scrolls? <laughs> yes. He's going to take two and hand them. <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> and he's going to say, um, yeah, these scrolls, uh, I, uh, I've, just, I've just acquired a whole bunch of them and a whole bunch of artifacts. Uh, very interesting stuff, really. It's, uh, it's at this, uh, this, this woman's house. Uh, she, she recently passed, poor dear. Um, but she, uh... And I stole uh, all their shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did she steal all their shit? <laughs> no, I just assume that's how he's gonna end the sentence. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I did not, um, I did not steal all of this shit. Uh, what I actually did is I, uh, she bequeathed? Is that a thing? Yes. It's Sounds... a terrible word, but yes. Bequeathed? Yes. <laughs> no, it's bequeathed. Yes. Bequeathed. 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 <laughs> Be bequeathed, There's yes. no joke that I can make. Nope, the jokes write themselves. <laughs> the English truly know how to make a word. Let's be real English is a joke. Okay. Uh, um, he, he says, uh, sorry, these, um... Be prepared. <laughs> be prepared for my be <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, no. uh, this, this very powerful sorceress, um, her name is, is Raven Lovebird, uh, she, uh, she, she left all of her, her magical belongings to my shop, uh, when she died. Uh, it's just, I don't own a cart, so I've been having to go, and, like, get them by hand, it's been really rough, but, uh, anyway, if I can get these off, I have no idea what these scrolls do, so... Please do figure that out and let me know. That would be great. Um, I've already given you some scrolls, so uh, this should, you know, uh, be interesting. She was a brilliant, brilliant researcher into the world of magic, so anything you can find out would be great. All right, well, I'm going to go back to my <laughs> shop now. Thank you. Very much. She's just like shoving all the scrolls and it's <laughs> just as you put a, put scrolls into your folds, they just go. <laughs> you had some big plans for this notebook. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna go. So he walks off. <laughs> Thank you. And you all make your way back to your continue making your way to Pentatitis's house. Alright. So you approach his house. It is this large mansion with rolling lawns of grass all around it. It is quite a ways from the other houses. There are trees that line the walkway up to the front door between the lawns. There is a very solid iron fence that encases the entire property. This house that you are looking at is very gothic in nature. It is gorgeous. It has flying buttresses up the side, and it has gargoyles <laughs> up on the top. Yes, buttresses. I said buttresses. You have children. Little, you know, it's like it's like the extra columns on the side. Yeah, it's yeah, and like yeah. a loop connect. Like uh, Notre Dame has yeah. flying buttresses on the side. A buttress. It right. basically holds up the roof and the walls. It's a fancy way of holding up. If yes. it's not Baroque, don't worry. Yeah, it is, it is in fact Gothic. <laughs> so. I'll, I'll need to not fix it. Um, so, uh, yes, so it is, it is stone. There are stained glass windows um, that, uh, that are, are there. there's one massive circular one above the door. Um, let's see, Elwyn, you notice that this stained glass window has a very familiar symbol in it um, of, a, of an intertwined tribe. Um, I would like for you to make a perception check, real quick. Um, do you have a name for the locket that the beautiful person, Caleria, gave? I remembered her name! Caleria! Yes. She yes. gave me, does she, does that have a name? You want to send me that later? Yeah, I'll send it to you later. Uh, I'll build it in the shots. Okay. Shit. Uh, 11. Uh, 11 is fine. 
Um, eleven is fine. So, uh, you notice that the window looks fairly new. Most of the stained glass windows that you've seen in this in this part of town have been old. The, um, the solder between the panes of glass is slightly discolored from the outside. You would know this from the uh, when you visited Meliora Academy. They had a massive stained glass window above their door, and it was very old. So this is very the same type of situation, um, except the solder looks looks pristine. It looks pretty new on it. It's shiny. It's silver. It's not discolored at all. The glass looks really clean, um, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know, tentacles, I guess. Um, Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, you have the house. There is a, there's an iron gate that locks the walkway toward the, toward the house. It is three stories high. There is a tower in front of the fortress house. The house is three stories higher, or yes, the gate is three? The okay. house is three stories higher. Um, is the gate, is it, like, wrought iron, like, see-through? Mm -hmm. We can see mm -hmm. into the property. And it's locked. Do we know? Yeah, the driving, yeah. Can we check for traps or anything before we touch anything? Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> yeah, would you like to check for traps, Lenora? <laughs> Me? Yes. <laughs> all right, investigation What, what do check? I do? Are we all back together now? Investigation check. Before investigation? Oh, my investigation's coming. Okay. Okay. I keep forgetting the phone was here. Keep, I, think, I keep thinking Lenora's. 21. OK. Um, neither of you, as you both get real close, like faces squished together, looking into the lock, um, <laughs> neither of you, <laughs> um, neither of you can detect any traps. It doesn't appear that the outer gate is trapped. It also does not appear to be locked. <laughs> okay. So, Lenore, you go and push it, and the gate just goes, yeah. It opens. What do we see once we? So as the gate opens, you see a cobblestone path that goes straight up to the front door. There's like a tiny little porch. It's not very substantial. Um, to your left and right are green lawns. There are a couple of trees. It's all very like pristine, manicured. Nobody uses this lawn. It does not have a dog. Very clearly, it's not a pet's like. It's, it's psychopaths. <laughs> yeah, it's like a do not step on the lawn type of situation. There are, in fact, are little, like, tiny wire fences that just kind of, like, you know, just a, uh, maybe four or five inches tall that, that like, line the, the walkway between the cobblestones and the grass. Somebody peel the grass. <laughs> <laughs> no crow. <laughs> I'm gonna lose that. I know. <laughs> I'm with Astra and with flow and flowers. And and uh, and Elwin. Elwin. I'm just gonna like look back at everybody and just like let's go. And then just start walking. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I follow. Will follow. <laughs> okay. So as you begin... and I'm gonna can I activate my little locket thing? You could. There's nothing like threatening you, so nothing happens. Okay, great, right. but I, it yeah. needs to be activated before. Yeah, so so basically the way it works uh -huh. is um, it's um, you basically cast the counter spell spell. So oh, a reaction. It's a reaction. So as a reaction to a spell that is cast, it has to be targeted at you though. It cannot be targeted at other people. Anybody else? Okay. Um, if it is targeted at you, like you can use your reaction to cast counter spell at the base third level. If you use two charges, you can cast it by a level. Okay. If you use three charges, you can upcast it again. So it, it's if you use all like all three that you're allowed to use, right? Right. Then that's a fifth level counter spell. Okay. Cool. As an advocate for Ellen, how does it work if like a fireball spell is cast near? If you are within the range of it, okay. Then then if you are going to be affected by it, you can you can activate the counter spell. Cool. Thank you. Yep. All right. So you walk up the stairway or up the, up the pathway to the front of the house, and uh, and you approach the front door. The front door is two double wooden doors. There's a, a knocker 
on top. Just a pair of breasts on the door. Instead of like up and down, you have to go. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm assuming it's closed. Yes, the door is closed. Lenora grabs the knockers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's your fault. Boing, boing, boing. Sure, boom, boom, boom sound. It echoes throughout the house. And you wait. And wait. How long do you want to wait? I've got a minute. I, I just want to try and door the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can we're we gonna try to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, as Lenora is standing there waiting, Aster comes up. <laughs> it echoes through again, and both of you are waiting. Did you want to take a right, shower? Absolutely. 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 Please tell me that we're rotating the circle. <laughs> it's just, it just slides. Uh, when Nor uh, Every Elwin boob takes is special. <laughs> uh, you do notice, Ellen, the left one is slightly larger. Than the <laughs> Must have been cast <laughs> from real life. <laughs> just the joke that keeps on giving. It just truly, <laughs> truly. truly. <laughs> These are the mommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. So, um, the, the, for the for a third time, the sound echoes throughout the building, and, and, and nothing happens. Flowers, you're you're just gonna go up and open the door. To try it, see if it's. Not. All right. You open the door, and actually, both handles just click, and the door opens for you. Is there more clicking sounds? Yes, um, all four of you need to make a dexterity save. God damn please. it. <laughs> dexterity, you said? I should have known. Yes. Give me some. Can I have the dry erase marker, please? Yes, of 15. Course. Sorry, what was that, Flowers? 15. 17. 14. 14. Okay, excellent. Natalia? Um, I would ask for you. Crow and Arterian and Chadwick. We're gonna get back to you for in two weeks. <laughs> no, you As everybody you looked at the corpses of the oh, <laughs> We're yeah. going to you three now for our last four minutes of this stream. <laughs> uh, it's 7.56. <laughs> so, um, Chadwick... Arterian, I forgot his name, and Crow. Crow, you are, are you, are you leaping at Pentatitis? Mm -hmm. Or throwing a dagger? No, I'm gonna leap. Excellent. I would like for you to make an acrobatics check in this surprise round. What are you gonna do? Hold on, I forgot to do this. Um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. I, the first thing that comes to mind is knock the tree down. Okay. But that's a, that's a bad idea. Do you want to like, this is Sparta. Can you do that? <laughs> like use my hammer as an axe. In one, in one swing? With a smite. <laughs> what are you doing? I like think dead. that me and Arterian are down with that plan, honestly. Okay. You know us well enough. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm smiting the tree. Excellent. For harboring a fugitive. <laughs> Are you actually lawful No. <laughs> Arterian, what are you doing in this surprise round? Um, well, I would be standing up and then smiting him. If I can reach him. 
He's ten feet above. He's ten feet from you. You can't reach him. Do you have reach on any of your weapons? Well, I'm eight feet tall. Yeah, he's ten feet from your reach. Oh, from, oh, okay, okay, okay. From your five foot square that you occupy, <laughs> he's two squares away from you. Let me see, do I have any sort of spell? Any kind of squish hook? <laughs> Could I jump and like grab him? Sure. You can jump and make a grapple check. Tap okay. roll, attack roll, grapple check are here. Attack roll. 18 on the Attack dice. Just like 19. Oh. Are hearing you're doing a grapple check, so that's a strength check. <laughs> um, 22. Alright. <laughs> well, I got a 23 on my um, acrobatics. Yes, you did. And I got another one on my. I'm sorry, what was that? You got a, you got a what? <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 ah, how about my attack roll? <laughs> All right. Um, Chadwick, what'd you get? Twenty-five. Excellent. Okay. Um, I would like Chadwick to roll damage, please. That's it. I'm the only rolling damage. Yeah. Mm, okay. Where's my D8? There's a 10 plus, all right, what is my smite damage? It's been so long since I've smited anything. <laughs> it's actually called smite. <laughs> 10 plus eight. 18. All right. To the tree. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna cut a tree. How many hit points does the tree have? We'll find out in two weeks! Because <laughs> <laughs> it's 8 o'clock on the dot! <laughs> Stick to our time! So, next time, we are not going to meet next week because I'm going to be gone. Um, so, and we will... somebody doesn't want to play in Sweden for some reason. <laughs> but we will we'll see each other on, on Saturday! Saturday. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like 6 in the morning. streaming on Saturday. I know. Like, I might not even be there yet. It's I have, like, I fly all day and all but I might get there on Tuesday morning. I don't know. Why are you justifying this like what I said? <laughs> like, because I honestly might just want to join remotely. Like, like you don't know. Okay, it is 4 a.m. there right now. <laughs> it is indeed. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we have to join it too. No, yeah, we're that's not. That's dedicated. No, we're not. I will be at that point. We're not doing that. So. Uh, we will not be back for software next week, but the week after that, join us to find out how this battle with pentatitis, not hepatitis, pentatitis goes, and find out what the hell's going to happen to the other four at If we all die. Yes. A we trap do. Clicked. Come watch us fight hepatitis. <laughs> and the tree. <laughs> and the tree. Because yep. we try to come up for a cure for this. Chadwick is very against bushes. Chadwick. For the cure. Chadwick is very anti bush. <laughs> okay, let me ask my dad joke real quick. Do you all remember? The Russian olive tree. Yes. Yes, yes Vlad. Uh, yes, Vlad. Vlad, the Russian olive tree. We take current events seriously. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, you should check up on on, on Vlad's friends because Vlad's no more. And Vlad is dead. Um, they're happy about it. Yeah, I'll check and I wasn't talking about the political bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's why. That's was, a little dated. That's why I was a double entendre. Thanks for um, clarifying. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Well, I'm pro Bush, so. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. We don't discriminate. No discrimination here. <laughs> oh, Just um, okay, so next, next Tuesday we will not be here. However, on Sunday we will be here. 
um, playing. Oh, we're not going to be on Twitch. Sorry, Twitch people. We're going to be on Spotify next Sunday. So um, check us out on like Tuesday, probably, maybe. I don't know. And we'll have a new episode on Spotify of The Proving Grounds. Um, next Tuesday, we are not here. Uh, and then next Sunday for Rackus, I will not be here. Ooh, I'm not going to be here either. Okay, so Mark, I think we should cancel Rackus next week. So. We'll do something. Okay, Even if this is a let's play, yeah. Sure. Mark might be frozen. I don't know. Um, so. What? <laughs> Stay tuned to our social media. to be working. Media. I hear myself. <laughs> Stay tuned to our social media to find out what we're going to do next, because we don't even know. Woo-hoo. Tune in for Char's birthday ASMR. <laughs> yeah. Like, From Sweden. Have a good night, guys. You too. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.